welcome back to Full Coverage. Your favorite fools are here in the house. Could you could you actually imagine if we were singers? I want us to be reality TV stars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, by the way, we're gonna we're gonna manifest this. Yeah. This is part of the manifestations. Where you it's also look very professional it. today. I just realized <gasps> you look like a business I, woman. But down here, I have torn up jeans and docks on. But I love so. that the juxtaposition is so good. A, it's it's layering. It's layered. <laughs> we are layered today. I. Not I'm so a much. newscaster. <laughs> yes, she's a newscast woman. I get asked every time I'm on, where's my top from? So I'll say. Yes. This one's from Hello. Boa. And then the top is from Nudie, the tube top's from Nudie Patootie. I love it. I always get I, asked. I feel like I always see Where's yours from? Mine, this one's I think from ASOS. Love it. And the top underneath is from ASOS as well. ASOS fan. ASOS, <laughs> I'm an ASOS fanatic. We know. I also have no makeup on you guys. Don't judge me. I got Botox. <gasps> I'm getting mine Friday. Yes. <laughs> Yay, Botox. <laughs> today. You're getting it today, technically. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm get, I'll be, while this is live, I'll be getting poked in the forehead. Oh, I love it. Shout out to my girl at Falls Laser Center. I freaking love you. Falls is but, great. I'm going to Kate Somerville. Oh. I need a facial, too. Yes, you're just going to do the whole situation. I'm going to just do a whole... Don't start with me. Don't. Oh, Tyler wants one too. He wants a facial too. <laughs> he loves the facial. He, he, he literally just put his hand on me like. Oh. He loves a facial. I also love a facial. Yeah. But I'm not talking about the cosmetically. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, no. You're like, Manny, please stop. Uh-oh, -uh, he's doing hand signals. He's doing something inappropriate. Do you know what's funny? I do I actually see all the time. I've actually been seeing them more is that people want a camera on Tyler. I, <laughs> I've actually been screaming because I've seen this. I'm not kidding. Can we get one in there? Is it possible, Tyler? All right, let's. I mean, why not? I think it would be funny. I think if it'd be fucking to hilarious to see like a little clip to him being like, "What the hell are you I'm talking down. about?" I'm so down. Okay. Tyler's an honorary fool. He is. Period. Thank you so much to Squarespace for partnering with us in today's episode of Full Coverage. You guys, basically what Squarespace is, it's so cool. It's an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business, literally from websites, online stores, marketing tools, and analytics. There's so much more that Squarespace has to offer, especially if you're a smaller brand starting up. Squarespace is everything to sell anything. Squarespace has tools you need to get your business off the ground, including e-commerce templates, inventory management, and a simple checkout process, and secure payments. Whatever you sell, Squarespace has merchandising features to make your products look their best online. I love that they just have so many features for their site. I love product features. They have analytics, email campaigns, e-commerce, SEO tools, Squarespace member areas. They make it easy for you if you mm -hmm. want to start a new business, so be sure and check it out. And as people with businesses, we love that. Oh, we love that energy. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash fool to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website domain um okay manny what happened this week for you <sighs> so many things honestly that's a lot I'm just <laughs> I'm just no, you guys, so this week i actually went on a date mm. i went on a little date um i swiped right on hinge hinge proud of me. i I've been trying to get back into like going on like the dating apps a little bit. So I'm like, yeah. you know what? 2022, I'm going to be like a little bit more adventurous with like dating and stuff. So I'm like, I got back on Hinge. I've been swiping right. We went on a date. And honestly, the date would end up going really, really well. He's a super cool guy, super chill. I didn't feel that like dating kind of spark. Yeah. So I don't think we have that connection. Like, you know, that like chemistry in that way. Right. But he's super cool. I can definitely see myself being friends with him for sure. And, um, was it weird at all? Or just so, like. So I think for me, like I. I feel like I know within like the moment I meet someone or like Spark. the moment I'm like going on a date that if I feel like there's like this like little like extra bit of connection for him, I was just like, oh, hey, what's up? Like, nice to meet you. And it was more like chill friendly, not so much like date you wise. I see. And he's super cool. Well, like, don't get me wrong. I actually had a great time, but I wasn't like interested in that way. Um, but I will say like it was kind of strange. So we're obviously on a first date, right? Like we're trying to get to know each other. That thing's going on. Our waitress is like really <gasps> kind of strange. Wait, actually. what? So... She kept coming up to us and she was like venting about her real life, right? Like, hey, that is weird. Laura, I'm talking like to the point where she's like, yeah, you know, my man cheated on me what? and I have kids with him. And like, she honestly, oh. like, as if we were her therapist, like literally and me and she knew we were on a first date oh because she gosh. like had asked and we're like, yeah, we're on a first date. We're just kind of like hanging out. The oversharing. But she got to the point where it's an oversharing and like, I'm like obviously trying to get to know this guy like on a first date. <laughs> not the waitress. I'm not trying to get to know the waitress. You're not trying to get to know the waitress? Laura, 
There was one moment when she came and like was with us. Guess how long she was there in one in one minute for real? Uh oh, I would get uncomfortable. Ten minutes. <gasps> she was there for ten no. full minutes talking about like her man and her problems, and I'm like. Bro, because I've, I've been, been a waiter, shocking. right? So I know when there's like social cues to be like, yo, like chill and relax <laughs> and have fun. And there's social cues to be like, hey, like, thank you so much. Get out of here. Thank you so much. I had so much fun. Like, I've got get out of here. Uh, there's a fine line in waiter fine waitering, line. waitressing. Mm -hmm. There's a fine line in coming to the table too much and not enough. Yes. And once you get good at your job, you'll know that line. Mm -hmm. I feel like she might need someone to talk to, but it. it very unprofessional. But I'm like, they're like, they're maybe talk like you know, like the employees that are there. Like, I just a feel like because we are complete strangers, a friend, a family member, a yes. cousin, whatever. She's and then she would like, and we and obviously like, as a reacting, we're like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Yeah, it's well, very just like, oh mm. wow, so wild. And like, obviously, we're not being super responsive. So like, she would get the hint that I'm like, okay, like I'm trying to get back to this date right now. Like I'm on a first date. Like this is so uncomfortable for me. Um. It's already like kind of a weird situation. Going on a first date is already like kind of like fuck me. It is. So that just made it like ten times more awkward. I'm a little shook. Yeah, I was dead. I was really that's, dead. That's awkward. Yeah, and honestly, I mean, I hope she doesn't listen. To <laughs> I hope she's not listening right now. Well, but maybe, if you are, also maybe it's tough maybe love. Maybe it's maybe it's you know a little it's advice. Tough love. It's a little bit of advice. It's not like oh, calling on you and saying where we went. But like it was it was really uncomfortable. So if you're a waitress out there, a waiter out there, just you know pick up on those little social cues. Read that room. Read that room. I, I mean, when I was a waiter, I had to room. do that. Read, read the, the room. room. Read, read the, the room. No, I, when I was a waiter, like I, yeah. I started to get to the point where I was like, okay, cool. Like I, and you, cause you can sell like when someone's like starts to like look around a little bit, mm -hmm. like, okay, they might need me for like more mm -hmm. water or something like you would kind of keep a glance out and you see if like they're in the middle conversation. If they're middle, like mid conversation, like honed in, maybe don't go up at that exact moment. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like things like that. So yeah. it was just kind of awkward. But wow, other than that, like awkward. I actually ended up telling him the next day, I was like, yeah, I'm not interested. <gasps> Oh, mm -hmm. what'd you say in the text? It's always like a little awkward because <laughs> he texted me the next day and he was like, yo, um, he was like talking about something random. And I was like, hey, I just want to be super honest. And I sent it in a voice note. So he oh, understood my tone. tone. I was just like, hey, I want to be super honest and super transparent. Um, I had a lot of fun with you, but I'm not feeling that spark. Yeah. I'm not feeling that kind of, you know, thing. And honestly, I feel like that's, for me, that's better than like ghosting someone, right? I would yeah. rather just be super honest and it might like hurt feelings a little bit more than ghosting would, or maybe not, I don't know. But I feel like just getting it out there, it's just a lot. And he took it really well. He was like, no, I totally understand. Oh, that's Totally great. get it. Like, I would still love to be friends. I'm like, great. That's great. My self-help book talks about one of my millions, but it talks about um, how important honesty is and that we've lost so much of that in society to mm -hmm. protect people from getting their feelings hurt, which totally. has then created a more anxiety-filled people don't know how to correct things or have no idea what they're going wrong. They don't know how to communicate because we're constantly sugarcoating everything or we're, we're constantly not being completely honest, mm -hmm. even though it may hurt some feelings. But like what you did is like what it tells you we should be doing because yeah. you do yourself a service and you do the person you're being honest with a service. Exactly. You know, I will say also like I was kind of taken aback because during the whole time we were talking, like he never gave any inkling on that he knew who I was as Manny MUA. Here we go. <laughs> And so whenever I go on a date, like not always, but it's happened where I get clocked, mm, right? They mm. clock me, whether it's the waitress, whether it's the hostess or waiter, whatever it might be. And so I got clocked right before we sat down. And I was like, oh, by the way, like I also do YouTube like on the side. <laughs> Cause that's like my way of being like, how do Psychic. I make it like sound kind of like not awkward? Yeah. And so he was like, oh um, yeah. Like, you know, I kind of already knew. He's like, I just, he's like, I just didn't want to bring it up and talk to you about it until you told me. Yeah. And so I want to appreciate that's that. That's really respectable. Very respectful. Really, really appreciate that. At the other hand, I was like, I felt like almost like awkward in a way too. Because I was yeah. like, oh, you didn't know who I was. But it's hard because my audience is 90% women. So yeah. I don't expect a lot of men to know who, who I am. Right. It's always just like more women to know who I am. So yeah. it was kind of a shock, but it's all good. All good. Yeah. Well, how was your week? <sighs> Well, I went to Jackson Hole with Ty and Aaron. Period. Had, it's so beautiful. It was so beautiful. We do a snow trip every year, mm -hmm. and I wanted to do this one this year before it warms up, and um, which I hate the cold, but it's fine for like three days. And then I, you know, after three days, I'm You'll like, defrost. let's uh, let's get out. Let's get out. Yeah, let's it's time. Let's get out of here. Also, when it's so stunning, it's almost like, okay, I'll handle the cold because it's That's how beautiful. it is. Plus, I like skiing and I like mm -hmm. doing the snow stuff, which I just watched today on TikTok, paralyzed from his waist down. He's so young from skiing and I'm <sighs> Oh my God, like, I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, do you? Yeah, he's like, a, like, video a, went like a dude that was like in a, on a bed and he was like, he's 
very friendly. Yeah, his video went really viral because of the way he told his story. Mm -hmm. I was fascinated, but also- I was in it. Like, is it back cracked in half? You don't even feel bad for him. I know. Because of the way he mm-hmm. tells his story, he's so happy and cheerful like he just, and he's grateful. grateful. Yeah, he's, he's grateful so to be alive. So you're just like, wow, his story's really captivating, especially as he tells it. But anyways, uh, Karen and Sebastian were like, oh, you should go to Jackson Hole. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, mm-hmm. what is Jackson Hole? I've never heard of such. But, but I've been wanting to make, I, I, I'm going to visit all 50 states. So I'm like, I need to make my way out to Montana, yes. Idaho, Wyoming, that little area. Montana absolutely has to happen. Yeah. I'm going to go there this fall mm-hmm. with or without you guys. No, I'm going. With or without I'm you go- guys. And we're also making Daniel go as well. Okay. That probably won't be hard. <laughs> <laughs> and that's be very easy. He's always there. Uh-huh. But anyway, so I'm like, okay. And and Karen and Sebastian were like, it is this cutest town, like super luxe, really great place. And I'm like, hmm, Wyoming? Okay. So we go mm-hmm. there and we talk to a lot of the locals and we talk to a lot of people that live there. And come to find out, Jackson Hole is such a crazy place. It's a very small town and they don't have a lot of space to live there but they have a Mm. what wants to be a huge population there and they can't fit all the people in so their mortgages and rent and homes are worth more than they are in los angeles like for instance they said i did not expect that i didn't expect it either i was shocked they said like a studio apartment's about three thousand a month (gasps) how many square feet oh nothing a studio 500 i would think like I don't know. I don't know square footage. Like you could tell me 11,000 and I'd be like, oh, how small. (laughs) I don't know. Oh, that's so tiny. I don't understand square footage. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, If you asked me what my house is, I couldn't tell you. I'd be like, I think it's like 20 square feet. No, literally. (laughs) Uh huh. uh -huh. Um, But, anyways. Wow. Yeah, so crazy. So, all of our drivers, they find different ways to live there. And if you want to move there, the people who are from there are not fond of it. They don't want they're you there. They don't want you. you guys. They're friendly. They love the people that visit. They mm. don't want you moving there because got it, got it, got it, they got have it. such a small town and mm-hmm. it cannot expand because for years and years, people own tons of acreage of land. Got it. So it's like all, generationally yes, like all over like the Yellowstone. place. Yeah. I don't like watch Yellowstone. Sh- okay, well, but I know what you're like talking what about. Goes on in Yellowstone. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. You know, generation after generation owns the land, and they're not giving up their land. They don't care what it's worth because mm-hmm. it's not about that for them. Yeah. So I think they said, Ty, Ty, did they say like three percent of the land there can be used for building on or something like that? Yeah, it was yeah. like something so small. Mm-hmm. So they were even telling us if you want to move here. You can't even like physically find a like, place that's no open. Because it's there's nowhere like, open. The land's They're at taken. max capacity. And the locals were telling us how horrible this place has become no. due to the amount of people moving there. Because of tourism or because of the, the moving? Both. Got it's it. become quite the attraction. We saw Bill Gates, his mansion he's building oh. there. It's 50 million, around 40 to $50 million, they estimate it, his mansion. Oh my god. And if gosh. you look up Jackson Hole and the amount of celebrities that have mansions out there, it's insane. I didn't know that. So it's like this crazy place in middle America that no one talks about. They're probably like, please stop talking about like, it. Literally stop. Right but no, now. I'm telling the truth on what it would take to live there. Yeah, I mean it sounds insane. And it's what not it's not livable. So yeah, really crazy, really crazy stuff. Your resort looks stunning, like where you stayed. <gasps> like I was actually kind of Ty, shocked. what was it? The Amangari? Amangari? Yeah, or Amangari. Amangani. Oh my god! The deers outside your fucking window. The deers were there. I was and screaming. we. Lo- it was really amazing. We did snowmobiling. We went to Heart Six Ranch, mm-hmm. and they also have dog sledding. And so they probably had what like no. 50, 60 dogs plus a bazillion puppies, and they let us go in the pen and just go crazy. And yeah. Yeah. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. They were so sweet. But you didn't write, like, you didn't go on the thing with this, the dog sledding? You know, I'm not, much, I don't think I'm a dog sledder. No, I, I figured you're not, a, you're not a sledder of any animal. That's why I'm like, <laughs> I'm not an I animal. I don't see that happening for you. you but I'll tell More you like this, playing with the them. dogs, um, and they said, because they went crazy whenever we walked in oh, there, and he goes, because they think you're going to, they're going to get to go sledding. They so probably, they, dogs it's like a so walk to them, and they use they like it. 10 dogs for oh, a person. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's not going to be like, Oh, no, no, no. No, There's no like, struggle. Ten yeah, they're dogs for a person. They were excited about you. Oh, yeah. They to wanted to go. But sadly, we were like, oh, my God, we're not. It's kind of yeah. like taking them on a walk. Want to go on a walk? It. So for them. But anyway, it's not my journey. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I, I I'm on the same that. way. I just, I would, they, I don't know, there's something about also like see, seeing like the dogs do it. I'm just like, oh. Uh, I'm just not like, interested. Yeah, I mean, it, it like freaks me out. And even, even if I know it's not a struggle at all, I I'd still am like, I don't want to We did snowmobiling and that was. See, we can just do the mechanics. But yes. We'll stick to the mechanical. It was fabulous. And grand, we had a great time. It felt like, uh, like a break. Honestly, it's, especially like when you go from like this kind of, atmosphere and weather to like something completely polar opposite it really does feel like a complete detachment and i also miss i love la people i live mm -hmm. here and there i'm surrounded by them and i love them but there's something about people that don't live in the city it's the conversations get really refreshing mm -hmm. because you know you can have a 30 minute conversation uh, a man an older man who he told me all about his life, you know, mm. and like all the different Probably a lot things. Calmer. Oh my it's God. Just, like just everything is so mellow. And mm -hmm. he was like telling me how he like did the Navy and then he did tours in the Grand Canyon for a living 11 years. Like he had lived how like cool. this crazy wilderness life. And yeah. he just told me all about it. It was like a really old man. And, and he was my driver to the Heart Six Ranch or whatever. Uh -huh. And I don't know, we have to hear everybody's stories because we did a lot of drivers to oh, different places. Totally. And they would all talk to you and just tell you everything. It was just so refreshing. That's so cute. I felt like, ugh, I just love people. Especially like, and like, and not in like your area. It's mm -hmm. like always actually kind of feel like just detached from mm -hmm. like, because also like I feel like in LA, like if I'm in an Uber, I'm I'm usually like not really talking. Like yeah. I'm not really oh, like absolutely engaging not. and not really doing that. I'm just like let me just get there. Baby, boom, it's boom, boom. business. It's business. I'm like let me go go go. But I feel like again like in Wyoming, it'd be like yeah. Oh like I feel like because they would be so friendly and be like oh hey how are you how's your day what you what are you doing up here oh yeah they would tell us the craziest stories like one guy was telling us all the stories of wildlife he's encountered and they're introducing wow. wolves. Wolves are, were wolves. Not, they were natural to Wyoming and they were hunted yeah. out and Aww. gone. So they're reintroducing wolves because they yeah. belong there and the people are protesting it because they're like, are they like don't scared? want wolves. Yeah, but it's yeah. like, that's natural Maybe there. Maybe that's like literally what it is. It's what it's supposed to be. We're not supposed to be there. The wolves it's are. The, the wolves have been there longer than us. Yeah. So I don't know. You just hear, I'm like, wow, you just got, I got to hear about so, something different for once. It's you nice know? to hear other people's way, like, way of living too. It was fascinating. It's it, it, okay. Those people are cowboys out there, no, honey. Like rancheros. Real. Like they literally have ranches and oh, shit. Oh, it's real. Like lassoing. Oh yeah. Like, like a, they literally <laughs> were telling me like, oh, Yellowstone's closed right now, but you can get in by horseback. I was like. <laughs> horseback? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, horse oh my God. I don't know a horse. I don't know bird. about that. But <laughs> yeah. I'll wait till the summer. I'll wait. Yeah. I'll go on a bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so wild. I love it. Like, on it. like it reminds me of like when like we've been to Bora Bora and like the way of life of people in Bora so Bora. It's so vast. Like there's no like movie theaters. There's no like store. Like it's so like island living chill. Mm -hmm. And like they're just like living off the land. And it's so like different than what we're used to. That's always like Oh, it's nice to kind of detach from your reality yeah. and put yourself into someone else's for a little bit. Oh, yeah. I that, love that. That experience was absolutely amazing. So we did that. Long story long. And also, we launched our makeup brushes. Yes. Woo! Hello. I love it. We and the brushes are so incredible. They're incredible. Um, They're finally back. They sold out when we did the first launch mm -hmm. of them. I can't remember what month we launched those last. Were, we like launched them in 2021. Half a, half a year ago. Yeah, I would, I would say. say. It took mm -hmm. us about six months well, to get them Well, because you already back. had them done. So it was like, we just need to reorder. Mm -hmm. But it takes so long to get the reorders like done. I think it was like four to five months, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'll say like five. Mm -hmm. So we got them back in stock. They're in stock now. It's an 11-piece brush set plus the makeup bag for 52 bucks. Guys, check it out. Laurely Los Angeles. So we're going to leave a link down below. We'll leave the link down below. Yeah, if you check, check it out. out. If you're watching on YouTube, we're going to leave a link down below. They're we amazing. Really amazing. I'm taking a set. Like, I'm going to take oh, a set. Oh, got them downstairs. <laughs> Literally, the <doctor's laughs> like, I'm going to be taking a please, set on my way home. Please. Because I forgot to take a second set. I would love that. And they're so good. I love they're them. Good. No, I'm, I they're love good. that you launched them. I'm so happy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I would say that's about it. Me and you went to dinner last night with Rare Beauty. Yes, that was super fun. Oh, they listened to the pod. Oh my God, shout maybe out to the girls. They were telling us they listened to the pod, so yes. maybe they'll hear this. You guys, we actually get really fascinated when brands tell us that they listen to the pod. I get fascinated personally. I know. I'm very like, you Jared do? from Benefit told me he listens. I think Shelby really? did too. Mm -hmm. So Benefit listens. Benefit listens. Rare I heard Listens. Who else has told me that they listened? Uh, some other people several, have actually. told us. Um, who else? I can't you know remember. You know what's cool too? I went. Especially the brand um, trip episode. That's the oh, episode. that's the one that got Maybe them good. That's, that's <laughs> the episode that the girls are listening to. 
<laughs> like we listened to your yeah. episode about brand. Well, they all say like, it was very was, helpful. Yeah, exactly. In, in a good way. Yeah. In a good way. Like they appreciated the branch. By the way, the mascara story in that one was not about benefit. We weren't, if you guys go back in history, we weren't on that benefit trip because me and you well, and Nikita and Gabriel all went to Hawaii. Yes. And they oh went God, to so Utah. Right. And so, because we were talking about mascara you're in that so episode, and we're like, benefit. Right. I was like, 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 I'm like we, no, we're do your research. Benefit. We weren't even there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. Because we went on a friend's trip we went to Hawaii. And do you remember they had Space Cadets deliver? Yes. Oh my God. They did mm -hmm. in our, to our house in because Hawaii. Benefit knew we wanted to go, but we mm -hmm. had already booked everything yeah. to go to Hawaii at the same time. We're like, we're genuinely, Sorry, we genuinely we can't. can't. We've already booked. We're booked and busy, mm -hmm. and so they were like, we totally get it. So they had in Hawaii two people dress up as astronauts, which was the theme. That was the theme for like the astronaut mascara. And at our Airbnb, deliver Dude, the product. I completely forgot. That was wild. That is so fucking. I don't wild. know what kind of connections Benefit has. They have unearthly. Connections. Unearthly. They are not of this world. LVMH. <laughs> that's that Louis Vuitton connection, oh. dude. That's so wild. You're sorry, but yeah, we weren't talking about benefit. We weren't talking. We were on the trip that I was talking about. I told Jared that though when he oh, came God. by, I was like, he by was the way, like, a fucking what bitch. The fuck you're <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> Jared's from Alabama as well. He works um, oh. with benefit, so me and him really have He's that connection. He's genuinely. You don't meet a too. lot of people out in this world. From Bama. Good, from Bama. You don't. In LA too. So that when you do meet someone that's from the South that comes out here, you do feel like a special connection because not mm -hmm. a lot of people leave. Your hair looks so sexy right now. <gasps> no, literally. Can we just like have a moment for Laura's <laughs> fucking hair? Like, I was looking like at this. it and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like Laura's hair just looks like so like. You know what like, it is? Fucking like, Are you uh, ready? Dyson air wrap. No, it's not. <laughs> The fucking di the air wrap, the five hundred dollar, six hundred dollar air wrap. Yep. I mean, honestly, at this point, I feel like it's worth the money because everyone talks about the Dyson. Listen, and everyone I've loves had mine the Dyson. for a really long time because they're good quality, huh? And now, oh yeah, they'll last forever. Yeah. But now everybody, of course, is hyped up. Yeah. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. I also have three Dyson vacuums. Four. I have four Dyson vacuums. The four. Di Wait. I have four Dyson the vacuums. The Dyson Airwrap is the brand Dyson that does vacuums. Oh my God, yes. It's the vacuum brand. It, the fans. Oh my God, you didn't know that? I didn't know that. <gasps> Manny, that's why it costs so much. Dyson is out you here. You just blew my fucking mind. I may have blown some I dead ass did not know that Dyson Airwrap was also Dyson like vacuums. Yes. It's the same <gasps> company. That's why it's bouge -licious. No wonder it's like, like bougie it's, and nice and, it and works. sickening and it works well. Mm -hmm. Dyson, like I've had Dyson vacuums and they last forever. They last forever. I had, I bought my first one, which was a regular Bro, big I'm vacuum. So and then I was like, I want another one. Cause this mm -hmm. one's been like with me for four or five yeah. years and it's a little dull. Uh -huh. I can barely vacuum with my new one because it almost sucks the carpet out of the rug. Because it's so strong. <laughs> it is so strong. So then the I was- The Gluck Gluck 5000. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh yes. my God, it's vacuum, like dragging me across the house. It's alive. So then I was like, <laughs> so I was like, let me get the handheld. Yes, <laughs> yes. Right? I'm like, car, let me have extra, let me have extra let me, options. Let me have ac options. But then for Christmas this year, I was like, I want the cordless. <laughs> Laura's a Dyson holic. Please, someone send help right now I'm for Laura's Dyson. I'm gonna line them all up and take a picture. No, you have to. I like. I'm actually genuinely curious. I want to see which one you have. Okay, do you know what I did when I was really little? What? So you know how like on the vacuum, there's like a hose that you can like do like the. It's like a suction hose. Thing Your you wiener. See? Yes. No. I, I was joking. I, know I didn't know you. <laughs> Boy, don't do that with a Dyson. No, 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 no. It's gonna be but a like, different I mean, I did experience. Like, well, I was just like, you did it with a Hoover. It's sucking. <laughs> and there's my pee pee right here. I just well, what's your experience? In? I mean, it just felt like really. It just literally just felt like, like just sucked in. It was very strange. And I obviously like, I only did it one time because I was like, oh, that's weird. Like, I didn't like it. But I was obviously when you're little, you're just like doing I stupid ass shit. I genuinely think a Dyson would rip your penis off. Oh, I'm sure of it would. Body. I mean, when you just said that, it sucked the carpet's <laughs> life out of it. I'm like, oh my god. It reminds me of Monster Seek with the lips are like. <gasps> <laughs> but yeah, no, I totally put my dick in one form. Well, there's our title to today's video. <laughs> Maddie has fucked the vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should take a break. All right, let's take a break, and we'll we need a break after <laughs> that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you so much to HelloFresh for partnering with us in today's episode of Full Coverage. You guys, with HelloFresh, you guys get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that is literally why it's America's number one meal kit. Ooh, we love HelloFresh. We, we honestly really do. We are stands. We're HelloFresh stands here. What's also cool about them is they offer flexibility you need to easily customize your order online or on the app. Mm. You can change your delivery day, your food preferences, your plan size. You can even skip a week whenever you need to. But let's also talk about the fact that they do desserts as well. Ooh. Because that is a huge, huge win for me as someone that with a severe sweet tooth. <laughs> you guys, we can't forget dessert. So what you can do is to satisfy your sweet tooth with seasonal limited time goodies like Dunkin' Guru cookie dough or vanilla delight cheesecake. There's so many options. It's so easy. Me and Ty do it all the time. Mm -hmm. I would say we do three nights a week. Hello fresh. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Yeah. We I love, love it. That. It's so easy. All the ingredients in one bag. I'm going to start. Honestly, I'm going to start like actually starting to cook meals myself because I really want to try to be a little more healthier this I love year. It. Yes. And I feel like Hello fresh makes it 10 times easier. So easy. So easy. Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh, and I love that because now they have a wider array of meals to choose from. Love it. So what you guys can do is go to HelloFresh.com slash full 16 and use code full 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's go to HelloFresh.com slash full 16 and use code full 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. You guys, America's number one meal kit. Let's do this. Thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this portion of Full Coverage. Roses are red, violets are blue. We love shaped balls. How about you? Woo! Oh, my. <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming. We know just the gift to give to that special someone. For any and for all occasions, this V-Day is time to give him the gift that 4 million men worldwide mm -hmm. trust. Manscaped. The leaders in the below the waist groomings. Use my exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use code FULL for 20% off plus free shipping. Baby, if we don't want the dick to be nicked, let's <laughs> use Manscaped. Manscaped. I am all, you guys, I personally use Manscaped and I absolutely love it. I have hurt myself trimming before. <laughs> and the thing is, when you nick yourself down there, it don't stop bleeding. Oh. So I'm telling you, Manscaped truly is an icon and she's a legend, she's legendary. The Performance Package 4.0 specifically is the gift that every guy needs in their life to make sure each and every day is just a little bit more special. We love to hear that. We do, we and really I absolutely, do. I honestly love it. I literally use it all the time. And it definitely makes it a lot, with that you know, guard, makes it way harder to nick anything down there because of how like good it is. Well, guys, you're in luck because we have a special offer for you. You can get 20% off and free shipping with the code FULL at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Use code FULL. Gift is Cupid and Arrow from Manscaped this Valentine's Day. Okay, guys, and we're back from our break. Back whoop, in the break whoop. is done. Hey, Back hey. in the break is done. Okay, wait. We want to kind of do like a rapid fire. We're doing rapid fire today. So we have a ton of topics that's happening in pop culture, mm -hmm. and we just want to give it a little taste. Yeah, we want to do a little, a little taste, a little whisper. All right. If you will. First up, Kim and Kanye. Kanye has released a diss track to Pete, essentially. <sighs> Allegedly, no, it's the, not even. It's not even like, maybe that's what it is. No, it's there. The, the gag is to the fact, to the fact that P has hired extra security. <gasps> yeah. For it. But the thing is, and it's not even like when you think about it, it's not even like saying Pete's thinking like Kanye's gonna go beat him up. No, it's like the fans. people are yes, people are so wild, and if they think, and if Kanye West, who's this icon and mm -hmm. legend in the rap world, is like goes like let's beat up Pete. Bro, like Pete would literally fans, be in danger. Like, are you joking? Crazy fans will do They'll what do. the artist like, tells yeah. them to do. And so th I feel like that's where the security comes in because it's like you're waiting on some lunatic to be like, oh, Kanye told me to do it. I'm going to find Pete. Right. <sighs> it's honestly really scary, to be honest. Like, it I'm kind of honestly me out. not surprised that Kanye kind of distracted him. I mean, I'm not shocked at all, to be honest. That's how artists work. Look at mm -hmm. Taylor Swift. That's her whole fucking. Like, let me diss these bitches that broke my heart. Fucking broken heart, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's common. Yeah, absolutely. But wasn't there a violent. <laughs> it's not funny, but wasn't Wait, there a violent threat at Kanye's? 
Yeah, open front. I mean, it literally was like a beat you up. Like, it literally uh, yeah, was right? like, I'm going to beat your like, ass. I'm going to beat your ass. So Taylor doesn't yes. <laughs> No, to Taylor's beat. not threatening uh, physical harm. <laughs> she just destroys their careers. That's what it is. <laughs> she just Jake Gyllenhaal's them. She Jake Gyllenhaal's really quick. them. Yeah. Whereas Kanye is just like, I'll just throw a little, a little action yeah, out exactly. there. Exactly. But see, that again, like, that's like, that's also not okay to like threaten physical Definitely violence either. shouldn't. Because uh, the thing is, I feel like Kanye is like so obsessed with Kim. Okay, let, hear me out. Could you imagine if Kim threw a threat out to oh, Julia? No, no, that would be crazy. People I just, would I, lose. I just can't. People would lose it. Lose it. Like, oh, because it's Kanye, it's okay. Yeah. And I'm like, dude. Yeah. That's like such a double standard. Cause I, I don't feel like they would. Like, it would be weird if Kim did that. But because it's Kanye, <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, like Kanye's like, yeah. Fuck, fuck him for taking my girl. Yeah. You know, very that vibe. Very uncool. It's just not cool. But um, speaking of Julia. <laughs> okay, so did you see how they did Fashion Week? Yeah, Kanye and Julia. What and Fashion Week was? It? Oh, or is that Spring Fashion Week? If it no, I don't know. Because isn't that in February? Spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must be doing early shows already. Yeah, or if it's or it's in a different like country. And oh, it's not even it could here. be it could a be different like country. Milan Fashion Week or Paris Fashion uh, Week. maybe it's one of those. Um, but it, her makeup in there, <sighs> Laura. Okay. <laughs> Laura. People are making, <laughs> I I mean, like the whole day was memes. The memes the that memes. came from that smoky eye. That smoke, smoky eye. Girl. I honestly, it when, was I, shocking. when I saw it, it shook me. You know what it is too, though? She be throwing looks. Right. With the makeup. She's she was like, like this. Which I'm like, guys, she shouldn't say she's open. on drugs. I think no, she right, doesn't right. realize how she looks. She, or maybe she doesn't realize that the smoky eye is so pulled out. It's like. That it gives you this like wild stare. Like as if you're a, a cougar. So I think. About to attack something. If you didn't have that makeup on and you did the same stare. It might not look It wouldn't as be as did. jarring. <laughs> yeah. It might not have been as jarring. But the thing is, it was, I saw so many like comparisons of like. Bucky from Captain America, like smoky no, eyes. Edwards. <laughs> Edwards, that was my favorite one actually. Where she's in the mirror, like doing this, <laughs> with pulling the, it back. With the, the smoke, yes, with the smoky eye. That's literally what it looked like. Yeah. So honestly, I was I was laughing at the memes. I'm not gonna lie, because I thought it was really funny. It was really funny. I do feel like all of it was lighthearted. Like yeah, exactly, it, it it's was. Funny. People were not vicious. No, yeah. About it, they were making jokes, and honestly, I would repost them if I were her. Uh, honestly, like take. Take like let's laugh together. Ex exactly, like have fun with shit like that. Like if someone's making fun of me for shit, like I'm like okay. Look at your fashion show. Exactly. <laughs> I knew Laura was gonna be this up. No, but seriously, we it's brought it funny. Up last we brought it last night. night. No, but like I walked to Marco Marco fashion show years ago. Mm -hmm. Like this is like what five years ago at this point, yeah. and it wasn't the best walk ever. Obviously, but that's not even it. It just was just like funny. It's just because funny. You it's just like, I'm like a a it's very pedestrian. Uh, is that a lot I'm of people a, yes. did it? A lot of people did it. A lot of influencers doing it, and it was honestly like just a fun experience. And now looking back, I'm like. It's really, it's funny. It's I honestly funny. I can look back at a lot of makeup so many looks and, and bad hair extension looks I've done. And Maybe we've people, done videos dedicated to them. Exactly. If people want to roast it, let's go. It's funny. It's funny. And it's honestly, as long as it's like not like harsh and being evil, it like wasn't. who cares? It wasn't. It was Literally, who cares? Hysterical. It was hysterical. So I hope that she's taking it with a grain of salt as it definitely should be. And it's just like a funny thing because also it's like she didn't glam herself. No. Like someone else did that. So it's yeah. like, it's not you doing that. Wait, what if? What if someone else did it? And she was like, oh, uh, oh, <laughs> can we wipe a little off? <laughs> Honestly, I would. Or what if she was like, oh, I would like a little more on the outer corner. They're, and they're like, uh, they're you like, sure we, about? We're stopping here. <laughs> I wanted to be a little more winged Dude, out. if someone did that look on me, I would have a mental breakdown. Because I knew I'm about to get ate Laura, up. I what about when I got glammed that one time? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Manny got glammed one time. By a celebrity makeup artist. And it was the worst thing I've ever, ever almost seen. No, I think it's it was, it's definitely the worst I've ever looked. It's it for was sure. jarring. It honestly had like three lashes in the lower lash line. No, it hit the, it was the lash was the completely lip. lifted. The lip. Tell them. I look like a catfish. <laughs> you guys, the way my lip extended into out here, it looked like I was a smiling catfish. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make fucking sense. No, honestly, it's the worst I've ever looked. Uh, he used like black contour on me, like black eyeshadow as contour. It truly was the most <sighs> jarring thing I've ever experienced. It was jarring. And I was like, we're not posting this video. So sorry. We're so sorry. Like, we just you, can't. You're saving him. I at was that saving point. him the grief at that point. At that and point. saving myself screenshots. 
I have some screenshots. I know you do. I'm sharing them one no, day. No, I also have screenshots and they're bad. Yeah. I mean, I sent them to you. That's he, how you have them. But he, they're, I requested them they're to look bad. at. She needs to, she, you uh, know, I just also found out that apparently Tyler. <laughs> I want to hear. I hear that Tyler likes to bring up my video where I was doing the fashion show when he wants a little pick me up. Tyler, is this true? When he wants to giggle? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this last. I heard this last night. She's like, yeah, Tyler. No, we'll pull I it have up. like many screenshots of you from <gasps> throughout the, our times together. That you know, it's I, not I like, just that. Like, there's multiple. I like to interchange them in my contact list for you. <laughs> as a contact photo. It's the contact photo, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The high hair one. Oh. The big hair one. Oh. <laughs> Some of them are photoshopped and some are not, man. Most are. <laughs> Let's some talk about not, how Manny. most are photoshopped. My contact for you, for you, I'm going to show it to you, but it's not photoshopped. Mine isn't either of you, <gasps> but you, it's been the same one. <laughs> it was a screenshot of when Laura was face. <laughs> <laughs> I need one for Tyler, actually. We were in the McDonald's drive through. <laughs> <laughs> how do I? Oh, there we go. I don't want to even see it, I don't think. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yep. I remember that well. Okay. We were going to Laura DIYs. And we were at McDonald's drive through. Uh -huh. we, we were coming back. Yep. <laughs> I was so shook. He was shook. I was shook. I was festive, like Daniel likes to say. Um, Festive. I was festive, but... You know, that was that. That's so, yeah, that was the thing going on with Julia, right? It's Julia. Julia Fox, baby. She's Julia all in the Gullia? press. Julia Gulia. Julia Gulia? All in the press. But it was, yeah, that, that shit was fucking funny. What's all our right. next topic? Vibes? Our next topic is a very, very sad and tragic topic. Uh -huh. A girl, her name is Brianna Kep Kepfer. K U P F E R. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh -huh. I Kupfer? apologize. Kepfer. Mm -hmm. um, she was stabbed in a LA furniture store. It's called Croft House. A man walked in and stabbed her to death and left. That's literally horrible. It was random too. Like the f so this is like the things I know. I see people talking about this, and so she was alone at work, mm -hmm. working like just her, you mm -hmm. know, in the store, and then you know. A guy came in and just brutally murdered her God. while she was on the on the job, that is so and it's like this. Com it's like and then it becomes a conversation about like, well, should people be alone at work? Yeah, should there not be at least two employees on at the for safety? Oh my god, I don't know if you saw this on TikTok. There was a girl. There was three girls working at like a a um like a juice shop, and the guy was yelling at them over like the counter and went like crazy on them. A customer, a customer, like, and not only that, got the drink, threw it at them. And like no. she, he almost like he was trying to get in through the door to like <gasps> literally fight the girl. It was crazy. Oh my god! So it just reminds me of like things like that where it's like, dude, like this is people are wild. Like this is crazy. Like yeah, it's scary. Like at least they had each other in that yeah. moment. Like there was a couple of them, the girls yeah. in there, but they were like young girls, like probably under eighteen. Like they were just like working out like a drama juice or whatever it might that be. Is so horrible. so it just reminds me of like that situation where it's like, dude, there can be crazy ass people, and I think it's really important <sighs> to have like you know power in numbers. Oh my god, that's so scary though. And then this girl was just like brutally murdered yeah i i can't believe and, and they she, just like found her with, i believe like, she was dead. 24 years old mm -hmm. so young and beautiful and just graduated college and and he took her life and it's so shame it's so terrible but um police did find the alleged the alleged killer, murderer murder yeah they have like they have someone in custody that mm -hmm. they say allegedly is the one that did it that did it but it's like wow because they said that this person that was allegedly like the murderer that he um basically was like just going around like to 7-Eleven after and was like very normal. Yeah. Like very like chill walking throughout the city, just doing whatever Makes the heck. Makes me wonder if drugs, this is an assumption, but um, maybe if drugs were involved. Maybe like, or like, like, because people get um, violent. Assaults, like something absolutely wild. Last year, a man that was on drugs went through a neighborhood close to mine with a hatchet and what? cut an old man to death and then cut another runner's arm off in the neighborhood. What the fuck? And it was drugs. It was drugs. What drugs was he on to do it that? It made him crazy and just went crazy with a hatchet. Mm hmm. So that's why oh I say my that. My God. You know, it's like drugs runs rampant through LA and yeah. a lot of other cities, and it makes people do horrifying that's things. That's so, honestly, it's so sad because, like, this woman's like life is just it's gone. now it's gone. Exactly. And she had so much to live for and so much to look forward to. And mm -hmm. it's just like, absolutely heartbreaking her family must be just beside themselves in shock yeah we're, we're wishing them the most love and light possible and you know just this is a, just a, a reminder to be just as safe as possible to be aware of your surroundings and just to 
you know, be conscious of what's going on around you. I feel like because of what I do now, I'm very hyper aware of people around me. Yeah. Like now, because, you know, being an influencer, things like that, like people, you can be recorded, things like that. Just things are always happening or getting grabbed and things like that. So now I feel like I'm a little bit more hyper aware yeah. of my surroundings. Oh, yeah. And I think this is just like a, another reminder to be like, you guys need to be aware consciously what's going on. But the thing is, what's sad is that you would never expect something you like this to happen never. at work. Like, come on. And like, never. a man come in and start stabbing you. Like, that's it's crazy. It's crazy. It's literally like a terrible, terrible situation. I don't know. Yeah. It's just wild. We're wishing her family the We are wishing her family and light and love. Oh my God. That's absolutely terrible. I can't even imagine. Same. Um, next on our list, Logan Paul has not been paid. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. Logan still hasn't been paid by and Floyd. The Mayweather Floyd Mayweather is one of the richest athletes out there. Or but okay, this is what I'm wondering. Okay, here we so go. So why would he, if he was the rich, one of the richest athletes out there, for real? Okay. Why wouldn't Logan have been paid? By I now? don't understand this that. This is where I'm confused. I don't understand that, and I'm like, okay, whenever you go into these fights, are there not contracts that if you? I feel like there is. Okay, then a lawyer should be contacting. Yes, but I think that they. Mayweather. I think that that's what's happening. Oh. I think that Logan's just like, yo, like I'm still have not been paid fully for. The fight, the work, everything they put into that. So Logan has said multiple times on multiple times podcasts, publicly, everything, and he just came out on a podcast saying, "Please, I pay would me. like to be paid. Please for pay my me, Floyd." Work. And the guy said, "Well, he hasn't paid multiple people." Yeah, that he's, he's like, "Hopefully, you're on the list. Hopefully, you're on the list, list to get paid." Because when I saw that clip, I was, I was shocked. <gasps> me too. I, I had like, no well, idea. I think you get paid pay. like net thirty. I'm th I'm literally dead ass thinking the most longest. I'm like net sixty is the longest. But that's not fu that's fucked. It's crazy like you put yourself in that arena with him with floyd mayweather Honey. and you don't get the check uh -uh. no honestly i would be honestly really 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 shook about it because literally is that not like the point of these huge fights yeah. is like to get paid that kind of obviously it's for like notoriety and it's for clout and it's all these still. other things but like i'm sure a huge portion of that is a check i can promise you he wouldn't have done it if he wasn't for getting free. paid. Okay? He, he wasn't exactly. going to do it for free. Exactly. Honestly, like, Laura, should we get into a boxing match? I kind of want to. I'm thinking. And if they offer us, like, let's say, Manny, um, we will pay you $10 million to get knocked out by Laura. Mm. Maybe you're knocking me out. All day. Every it's like that TikTok. Would All you, day. Would, would you stomp your friend for, like, a million dollars? Don't, we will Stomp split it. Stomp him to death. We will split it. Stomp him stomp to death. Stomp me out. Laura, if we are getting offered 10 million to stomp me and out. we'll split the money. Stomp me out and we'll split the money. Like that's literally what I'll it is. I'll pay your hospital bill. Pay my bills. I'll How much are you going to knock me the fuck out? <laughs> Am I in the hospital? She has a fucking bat in her <laughs> Oh my god! I'm like, wait, the how bag, bad am I getting knocked out? Money bag. <laughs> yeah. I come in. Ha, ha, ha. You no, get out of the literally. hospital bed. I'm like ha, five million, five million. <laughs> <laughs> that got that we took it a little far. We did, but yeah, I feel like I mean the fact that he hasn't been paid yet is honestly just really ridiculous. I and honestly, <laughs> I'm like, I'm surprised because I also would understand like why Floyd would be paying him. I'm like, is it like the fighting company that would pay I, that's like what i'm the confused advertisers or yeah, the whatnot. advertisers or like pay-per-view like why yeah. how are they not paying him i don't know that's why i'm like where i'm so like the boxing thing who else to me get is paid? so fascinating um the kid from tiktok didn't get paid <gasps> yes who? who um that was during the fight with jake paul no with no. austin oh it was my the, god dude, that, that's, I that's a whole different situation that because was. that's like his company, like, there's like shady shit. I think going yeah, on with yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure with what was that the kid's one. kid's name? I Blake. I keep wanting to say Blake, but it's not <laughs> fucking Blake. It's not Blake. No, we're gonna know this. We're gonna Laura. know. Is it Little Huddy? Nope. <laughs> we're just gonna go every TikTok down the list. It's not Noah Becky either. Okay. It is. There's a lot of them. Laura. A lot of famous TikTokers. How do we not know this? Uh, he was going on tour Tana. I know him. I've I, I've met him. He's so fucking cool. You but his met name, him? Yes, and his name is Spacey. You don't know his name? Laura, stop. I'm looking it up right now. You guys, I can't do this. Literally, it was the chicken nuggets I had earlier. I'm just shook. Chicken nuggets? And they were gorgeous chicken nuggets. But I'm going to find who it was exactly. I just don't trust the boxing anymore because, honey, if I there's a chance I'm in that arena and there's a chance I'm not going to get paid. Like, I'm sorry. Bryce. That's Bryce Hall. That's a done deal for me. 
That's why I don't trust Not either. that I was ever considering getting in, but I'm right. sorry. People should think about getting in these arenas before they do because it's like, sheesh. Bro, the money like, the, needs to be flowing. Where's the money? Bryce, I, I love you. I would I'm sorry. like. He's not sorry. I'm sorry, Bryce. I love you. <laughs> I would like a bag of money to be brought out to me as I won. I covered oh, in blood absolutely. and sweat. Like I would like yes. the money bags and cash. Or like, can the belt that you win be made of solid gold? Well, no one's and gonna sell it buy and that. melt it down. Who's gonna buy that? And we'll put it around our necks. No, I want cash. I want a treasure. <laughs> I want a treasure chest to be wheeled out to me. A trove. Filled with the cash immediately. I would like that too because then you, that's when you know you're getting paid. Exactly. Where is the money? Where is the money? Where, Where is, is the, the money? money? <laughs> <laughs> we start a full fucking chat. Where's Where the money? money? Where's the coin? I feel like there's some complicated things that go on that we don't know. That's definitely what it is. Like mm -hmm. there's so much happening. Like we only see like the surface, surface. of it. When there's literally an iceberg underneath, like yeah. so much happening. We just see the tip. Yeah. But there's so much happening. But it, just, it is fascinating to see like people who are in the fight, AKA Logan being like, I have not been paid yet. And then we're like, He keeps Why? on, he keeps on announcing it. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, like, dude, I would be kind of pissed too. But it's kind of like, he's definitely using um the public as lever. Leverage, I mean, I'm not, make it I'm not trying to like dog him for doing that, but he's think, trying to make it happen by I think putting that's public the way pressure to do it, on him. How else would you like, yeah. if you're getting, like, let's say if you're expecting millions of dollars, mm -hmm. like, would you not be like, yo guys, I need help with this. Yeah. I mean, thank God he just came out with prime, prime drink. With KSI, which is super awesome. I think Congratulations. He's fine but, in the money department. Oh yeah. I don't think he needs the money. I think he earned it in the he fight. It, it was an agreement. Yeah, he deserves so, it. So yeah. At the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You'll get paid eventually. All right, Manny, I'm gonna let you pop off on this one. Alex Axel. Ax <laughs> Axel Weber. Okay, so I wanted to just bring up Axel Weber because he's like popping so heavily on TikTok. So he was the kid who had the smallest apartment in New York, and it's literally like an apartment that's the size of like so what he a get famous closet. For? He get famous for that? Yes. Okay. So he would do videos that he's like, oh, so like this is what my smallest like apartment looks like in that's LA a genre or in on New TikTok. York. So it was like a very dedicated thing, right? So people were like, Laura, I'm talking like it's smaller than your closet. His room, his whole room, is I would say maybe half your closet. I will tell you this, if I was young Deadass. and wanted to move to New York, I would totally do it in that apartment. You, I, would I mean, do you have it. Like, to make it work, do, you have yeah, to make it work, right? I would do it. Oh my but, God, my per first apartment in LA wasn't much bigger than my closet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, cause it's like, hello. And apparently that's like $1,200 a month. Even then it's like still hella expensive my, my for that little thing. Teeny, 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 tiny. I would say my apartment was probably the size of my kitchen and family room put together. Yeah. That was probably the whole thing. That was like nine fifty a month. Wow. And it was in Riverside. It wasn't in LA. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like the prices are like crazy. Ridiculous. Really crazy. But the reason I wanted to bring up Axel is because so Axel has blown up like wildly in the last like let's say two months. He has like wow. four million followers now. Like blew up like millions in a month. He ain't gonna be living in that apartment for long. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. <laughs> but the thing that's like kind of like I wanted to bring it up because I, I feel like people love an underdog until yeah. they make it. Oh, yeah, yeah, So I'm yeah. seeing so many comments that are very, like, negative towards Axel being like, oh, he's just so mediocre. And, like, listen, I understand that, like, you don't get his vibe. Like, totally get it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he's not everyone's flavor. Like, I understand that. Totally. And, like, he just seems, to me, he just seems like a sweet kid who's been handed an amazing opportunity and he's running with it. Mm -hmm. Like, because he now has a modeling mm -hmm. contract. And, yeah. you know, he got turned down from Juilliard, which is, like, a huge school, school. a heart school in New York. And, like, Charlie Puth. He he like stitched it was like hey it's okay and like he said all these like really really wild interactions right but i feel like now i'm seeing tons of tiktok stars like against axel because i feel like now he's down to this point where it's like everyone again i feel like everyone loves an underdog until they make it that's how it is on youtube too mm -hmm. if you because back in the day you would blow up on youtube yep. and like once you became the moment all your top comments were just trashing you mm -hmm. and that is the culture on it's TikTok. crazy it's like a complex it's like this weird complex it is that is like the tiktok culture they love you until you make it and then they are come after you because mm -hmm. Any of the and then they want to bring you back down. They want to bring you back down. They don't. They mm -hmm. like want you to do good, but not that good. Exactly. Like you they know? want to be part of the journey mm -hmm. until you get to a point where it's like, oh well, why do you, why are you on the Kelly Clarkson show? The, why are you in New York Times? Um, like all these things. What's her name? The girl that cooks, Emily, Emilia. She blew up as well. Oh yeah, I know exactly who you're talking the about. The girl doesn't even really talk in her video. She's literally like exactly making toast. Exactly who you're talking Emily about, Emily Marquio. Uh huh. Um, love her by the way. Me I follow too. Follow her. I'm into her stuff. She's almost got 10 million followers now. 
And the amount she, of videos I've seen making fun of her. They make fun of her. All her top comments are talking shit about her. And mm -hmm. it's really fascinating as to what can you say negative? She's literally making food and not even speaking. I, <laughs> I, I genuinely just don't understand the complex. Like, I just like, don't get what it. What is, why are we so angry? I don't know. Like, I'm, this is like what I'm confused about. Cause like, first of all, for example, with Axel, he's like a kid that was in his small apartment and he blew up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, mm -hmm. did he ask for it necessarily? No. 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 Did it happen? Yes. And so why, how is that his fault? It's not. Obviously there's these opportunities that are getting presented to him. And why would he not take them? Yeah. He got denied from Juilliard, but then he got a modeling contract. Why would you not take the modeling contract? Right. I fucking would. Charlie Poof said it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> if Charlie says we can do it, I, if he can do it, I can do it. Period. But like, it's just like this really, really fascinating thing where I do feel like, it sucks to like be in that situation where everyone's like, well, how do you know that he's even good enough to get into Juilliard? Look at Addison Ray. Addison Ray, She's Charlie. Charlie. Like, it's these, like these people who blow up like so quickly overnight. And then people hate them. And then the people hate them. Yep. And it just makes me sad. And like, I, I just, I don't get the why yeah. of it. I don't understand like where it's coming from. And like, mm -hmm. It's really what negative, though. Yeah, it's negative. I don't get the I don't get the complex of like why do you have to shit on them. Like, can't they just like live their life and succeed and do and have fun with it? And they're not harming anyone. Yeah. And if they're not shitty ass people, and if you don't like them, then okay, then don't watch them. Exactly. Like just like say not interested. Yeah, click not interested, and you you won't see their videos pop Move up in your free on, page. But people feed off that negativity. I, yeah, it just it's just weird. I just don't understand it because I've seen so many videos, especially about Axel, that like recently because he blew up so quickly that I'm just like, I don't get this. Like, why? He reminds me of Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I don't know that. And so Kingdom Hearts is like a video game I used to play back in the oh. day, and the main character's name is Sora, and he had this, this like really crazy hair, and he had this like keyblade. It's like a Disney kind of uh. game, and he reminds me of that of Sora so much. Like that's why I like him because I'm like, so cute. He reminds me of Sora. But I don't know. I feel like he just seems like a sweet guy. I'm like, I don't know why we have to. Leave Axel Just Weber leave, alone. Leave him a B. Leave Axel B. All right. We got some more tea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did that. The lead singer of the Gorillas oh my God. calls out Taylor Swift. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody so, be coming for Taylor. Everyone loves to come for Taylor. But the thing is, I saw he was doing an interview mm -hmm. and he said in the interview, he was like, so, like, Read Billie it. Eilish, I, oh, yeah, let me just fucking pull up the Read exact, I'm gonna pull actual, up the exact thing. Manny's gonna quote what he had to say in the interview, which he did get caught okay, up. Okay, so, verb, I'm gonna pull up the verbatim, because it, get it makes right. more, I'm, it makes much more sense when I pull that up, so let me, give me a second, we're gonna be playing some jams, we're not playing jams. No, we're not, <laughs> Ty, play a jam. <laughs> oh, my God, okay, let me see, let me find the, okay, clo I'm close, you guys, I'm close. Okay, here we go. So his name is Damon Albarn. And he says, like, he was kind of like talking about music in this like interview. He says, Billy, so he goes, Billy Eilish, question mark. I think she's exceptional. Taylor Swift, question mark. She doesn't write her own songs. So that was like his like little way of like a jab essentially at Taylor because she's said many times, like, I write my own songs. Like, I am the writer. So Taylor, which I think is just like, oh, chef's kiss. She quote tweets, Damon's Ooh, tweet. She's and it's not like, one to stand she's just, quiet. She, no, she's not. She's the type of person that she's going to stand her ground, especially when she knows she's in the right. So exactly. she says, Damon Albarn, I was such a big fan of yours until I saw this. I write all of my songs. Your hot take is completely false and so damaging. You don't have to like my songs, but it's really fucked up to try and discredit my writing. Wow. I think it's really fucked up because... Um, women get compared enough to women. Like, why are we yes. even comparing Billie Eilish to Taylor Swift? I, you're so right. What's the point? So I think it's really fucked up mm -hmm. because not only did he try to uh, outsource a lie, mm -hmm. which is very damaging. Yeah. Um, he tried to promote that. And then he tried to compare her to another successful woman in the industry. And, Damien, we get enough that of does, that. And so. that doesn't, like, the genres of music are worlds apart they are of those two. so i don't like understand and the vibe is from. worlds apart it, the whole thing is different but the thing is he did respond to taylor of course he did so he did he said i totally agree with you oh now you do i had a conversation about mm -hmm. songwriting and sadly it was reduced to clickbait i apologize <gasps> unreservedly and unconditionally the last thing i would want to do is discredit your writing your songwriting i hope you understand damon i'm like i don't think that was Take it out of context. Like that's exactly what was said. 
Yeah. So I'm very confused at like the whole entire situation because I'm like, I think that you're shook that she. I think you're shook it. that she got gotcha. you. I think you're shook that she got you good. She got you good. She got you good. And those Swifty fans, they're they're real. They're very real. The Swifties are real. I am actually a huge Taylor Swift fan myself. And she's trying to get protected. And I, I the need to and come I need Swifters to come for me. <laughs> 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 but no, seriously, I think that. That's one of those situations where, to me, it's literally like, oh, you're just shook that you got caught. Well, I just love Taylor because she will eat people up when need Alive. be. Alive. When need be. When need be. She is not one to take bullshit. She is a lioness. She, 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 she is a lioness. And she will attack. What's her zodiac sign? I'm looking it up. <gasps> oh, my God. I don't know. Wait, what is Taylor Swift's zodiac sign? Katya. What is her sign? My. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Katya. Um, the Swifties She's know. worked for me for years and years. Mm. One of my employees. A she is big, Stan. She's a big Stan. She's a Swiftie. Oh, I just typed her name in. I guess I had to put Zodiac. Yeah, but I had to put Zodiac as well. Huh? All right. She's a Sag. She's a Sag. We love, I love the Sages. Sag. That's like one of my favorite signs Daniel, of all time. Daniel, Aaron. Daniel's a Sag. Aaron's a Sag. Everyone's a Sag. So many. I love Sages. I get along with. I have a lot of Sages in my life. Sages is like one of my most. Actually, Sages and Leos are my most compatible. Technically, what they say Zodiac is my most compatible signs. Her um, partner. Oh. Yeah. So when me and Daniel get married in five years. Daniel, are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> it's he's because he's a Sag and I'm an Aries. And so it makes sense. Oh, I see. Five mm. years. 35. Five years. We have some planning to do. <laughs> well, I know that Daniel listens to the podcast. It's it even better. He texted me listening today. To it. He Did was he? listening to it and he said, <laughs> I can't remember exactly what I said. I was like, maybe he's listening. He goes, how dare you? I listen. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. He's our girl. He is um, our fucking girl. Danny's our girl. He's our girl. Um, all right. Here's one. Oh, I'm Car scared. This is a pretty interesting one. Okay. Cardi B defeats Tasha K for a $1.2 million defamation lawsuit. Tasha this actually shocked to me. She, she Tasha K is a YouTuber mm -hmm. and a YouTuber who made videos with mm -hmm. false claims yeah, about defamation. Cardi B, which did turn out to be defamation. I'm actually really gagged about this because for a major celebrity mm -hmm. to beat out a YouTuber for defamation, like it's kind of like just honestly shocking. Like I would have never expected to get to this point where it's like went to court and the fact that Cardi won. The girl must have been really going in. It, it must have been like, a. I, I actually have screenshots from it too, to be honest, I kind of wanted to pull it up. So this is what happened. So Cardi B claimed that the blogger, Tasha K, made up harmful lies about her on the internet. And basically it was saying that she won the case because she was saying that allegedly, that among other things, that Cardi B was a prostitute who dabbled in drugs and had con contracted STIs, which is, you know, sexually transmitted infections. But I was just like, Oh my God. Oh, and the gag and the gag. The, the real gag here is that the fact that Cardi B even went on the witness stand during the trial and testified she was suicidal during the period as a direct result of Tasha's stories. Wow. So it's not only is she getting sued for 1.25 million in general damages, she's getting sued <gasps> for 250K in <gasps> medical expenses. So I'm assuming that's like for therapy oh, and that's for so many other whoa. things. So the the jury sided with Cardi in this situation where it's like, yes, this was defamation yeah. and we feel you in this situation. So I'm like, whoa, like this is wild. Cause like as a, like as a YouTuber, I was like, this is like, oh wow. Like the YouTuber got sued mm -hmm. and lost against mm -hmm. the celebrity. Yeah. It's, but it's it, fucking defamation. It is defamation. Come on. And things are changing now on the internet. The internet mm -hmm. was so new. So I think a lot people got away with a lot. Yeah. But the internet has now become like a main source of everyone's life, mm -hmm. regardless of almost what generation you come from. So people mm -hmm. understand it more. Exactly. And people are kind of like understanding like the what's jury going is on. aware of what they're the understanding is. the money that's coming off of it and the mm -hmm. benefits of it and how big it can get and damaging. Mm -hmm. So I think juries now are kind of like they're aware. They're not they're like, confused. Oh, shit. They're like, they really understand what YouTube is and mm -hmm. how that could be damaging. So now you can't just say what you want to say about someone to get views. And lie. You That's can't the thing lie. You can't just lie you can't. blatantly about people and expect nothing to come Because whenever of it. they make a choice to pursue you. It's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm just kidding. Like, <laughs> I, I'm just kidding doesn't work in that situation. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to make up, especially like such slanderous things like, STIs and prostitution, drugs. Dr like such like really wild outlandish things. 
you can be surprised when suddenly you're in a fucking lawsuit and you lose. I think Cardi B is going through the gigs too because she tweeted the other day and I was like, oh my Did God, she? I love About Cardi the gigs? B. I do too, I literally love her. I love her, I love her energy, I love her vibe, I love mm -hmm. how real she is. I think she's a cool person. Um, but she said, why am I happy but sad at the same time? And then she also tweeted something else that was just, it, it, it. oh, just hanging in there. Five days ago, oh. so her so she has put out there that she's going through the gigs. The thing is, though, like celebrities at that scale, it doesn't exempt them oh. from mental health issues. And, yeah, you know, damages that could happen from being in the the limelight. God, and I know. Just because Cardi B is Cardi B and she's this badass, amazing, iconic woman, doesn't mean that she's exempt from having her feelings hurt. Uh -huh. And like, or going being through depressed. depression, like so many different things. And I think that people forget a lot of the times, especially like when it comes to people of that status, mm -hmm. that they're human too. And they're gonna make mistakes and they're gonna be sad too. Yeah. If we, if imagine like if, People forget that we're human and we have emotions. Imagine yeah. the level of a celebrity. Oh my God, they treat them like definitely inhumane. It's inhumane. It is. Like it's it's actually really, really wild. And so I... Well, this case speaks volumes wild. because what's going to happen is people have seen Cardi win mm -hmm. such a big case. Yep. More cases are going to come out from yeah, people from suing defamation. for defamation. Well, especially like if you're over here literally... Cause I bet you anything in like those videos. I mean, I haven't watched Tasha K's video. I have no idea what's going on. I just saw like the story, but I'm sure in the videos that she's trying to state it as fact. She's okay. not being like, allegedly she's doing all these things. Like, I think that that makes a huge difference. Like if you're like mm -hmm. saying like a speculative, way different situation than being like, she literally had STIs and she's a, a prostitute. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. That's mm -hmm. literally what defamation is. Like you're, if you're stating something as fact when it's a full, Bold face live, that's the opinion and definition. Right. Definition. Exactly. So I think that's like definitely one of those things where it's like, oh shit, maybe uh let's not let's defame. not do that. Let's not defame. Let's do other content. How about that? <laughs> let's do, let's get a, do get ready with me. Okay, guys. <laughs> so, Wait, should we take another break? Oh yeah, let's take another break. We're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back. Thank you so much to Pros for sponsoring today's episode of Full Coverage. You guys, there is no one size fits all solution when it comes to hair care. A product that works wonders for curls might make a straight hair limp and greasy. Thanks to my personalized Pros routine, I can honestly say I've never been more in love with my hair. This is random, but I really like their packaging. It's so beautiful. It's so cute. It's so like kind of vibey. It's vibey. Also, as someone that has like my, my hair care problems would be definitely like having more fine hair, wanting yeah. to look more full and the fact that you can find that at pros is so freaking cool yeah so it's custom hair care it's effective because the personal and natural ingredients with proven mm -hmm. result pros customizes every product in your routine from shampoo to supplements mm, i love that i mean I, the fact that we can have personalized hair care in this day and age is it's so amazing because cool. everybody's hair is different it is like not there's no again there's no one size fits all so it's kind of fantastic and i absolutely love it and i have personally used it and i honestly think it's freaking fantastic yes um and it works for me. I feel like it does make my hair look more full. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I want. Full, F-O-O-L. <laughs> <laughs> I love hair. when that happens. A full head of hair. If you're not 100% positive, Pros is the best hair care you've had. They will take back the products, no questions asked. Which I think is absolutely amazing. You guys, Pros is the healthy hair regimen with your name all over it. Take your free in-depth hair consultation and get 15% off your first order today. Go to pros.com slash full. That's P-R-O-S-E dot com slash full for your free in-depth hair consultation and 15 percent off Woo. we love a savings thank you so much to squarespace for partnering with us in today's episode of full coverage you guys basically what squarespace is it's so cool it's an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business literally from websites online stores marketing tools and analytics there's so much more that squarespace has to offer especially if you're a smaller brand starting up Squarespace is everything to sell anything. Squarespace has tools you need to get your business off the ground, including e-commerce templates, inventory management, and a simple checkout process, and secure payments. Whatever you sell, Squarespace has merchandising features to make your products look their best online. I love that they just have so many features for their site. I love product features. They have analytics, email campaigns, e-commerce, SEO tools, Squarespace member areas, even mobile optimized websites. All the websites are optimized for mobile. So basically anything, like you can connect automatically with just your site on your device, which I think is absolutely 
insane. They make it easy for you if you mm-hmm. want to start a new business. So be sure and check it out. And go- as people with businesses, we love that. Oh, we love that energy. Mm-hmm. You guys want to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash fool to save 10% off your first purchase of a website domain. And we're back. Welcome back to Full Coverage, where your host, Manny MUA and Larlar Lee. Reality stars. <laughs> <laughs> the reality, reality stars. stars. The delusion. The delu- a little bit of delusion is always nice. It is nice. It helps. Delusion is bliss. I actually just saw you reposted something on your stories today, and you said something about like, in Glossy. Uh huh. Glossy. glossy you're like, I did an interview. If I wasn't with a little delusional, I never would have made, made it. it. It's honestly the fucking truth. And tell people, get, del- get delusional. A little delusion honey. is good. You don't want to know all the facts. No, a little delusion is good. Um, all right. So a girl named Brittany Rayner, I'll be honest. I don't know her full history, but she's a bad bitch. <gasps> oh, um, my God. Yes, 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 yes. Even when you said her name, I'm like, OK. I also don't know a lot about her history as well. So but, but this clip went very viral. A Brittany Rayner, she went on a podcast. The podcast is called Fresh and Pit. Fresh and Fit podcast, mm-hmm. and the title under it is number one self em- male male self improvement podcast in the world. See the fact that their Twitter mm. uh, tagline is that's the number tagline one on Twitter. Self what self help men? It says number one male self improvement. I. Is this a joke? Like, is that so? The there's like a viral clip that was going around, and she basically just put these two men in their fucking place so gorgeously. I was screaming. So basically, they were like, "Oh, girls like you." It was very they like said, that kind of thing. Behind the scenes, off camera, mm-hmm. we warn guys about girls like you, and she and she's like addressed it um, on camera. So, um, what are like how are girls like me? Go ahead and explain. So, so explain girls like me, and he's like, "Oh, well, you know, all girls." She's like, "No, no, no." You said girls like like me. me. How am I? And he went to say within his response that she's not special. She ain't ain't special. And she said. Like basically like you ain't shit is essentially what he was saying. I was like, all right, this is where you don't double down. This is where you don't. A complete polar opposite of doubling down. You don't want to double down. And that's what he did. And she ate. Him. She chewed him uh, up and spit him out. I recommend you guys listen to it. You guys it's have very to hear powerful it. Um, about a woman defending herself against two men and not letting them double down and not letting them talk back to her and calling them on their shit. Mm-hmm. And honestly, it's like I watch it. I'm just like, uh, I, I literally just got like, I got my life. I really did I just got my, got my fucking life. And it just was so nice to hear her be such like a strong. Strong. Because honestly, if I was in the situation, I don't know what I would have said. I don't know what I would have said I would have probably felt really uncomfortable, to be honest. And I, wouldn't, I don't know if I would have been as strong as her in that situation. To be fight like, or flight and sis was flying. Baby, no, literally, fight or flight or freeze, baby, I'm freezing. Yeah. I'm a freezer. So I'm just like, I, I would be uncomfortable in that situation. So the fact that she was just like, no, I'm not going to let this happen. And then the fact that she was like, this podcast is fucking whack too. Yeah. At the end of it, she was like, oh. and this podcast. Is whack, like, and your background's whack. I was like, <laughs> ah! I was screaming. Snatch the wig. Do you know who Drew is on TikTok? Like, it's, she's like the girl that like, att- like she like the men are just like really misogynistic, and then she'll stitch oh, her and yes, be like, yes, yes, yes. And, she yes. and she laughs. Yes, and the laugh. giggle. I love her giggle. First of all, I love Drew. I love I'm Drew. I'm fucking obsessed with her. Huge fan. But it, like, it gave me that vibe. It was very that vibe. And I'm a huge fan of Drew. Yeah, me and too. so when I saw it, I was just like. This oh, is it. And a lot of power a lot of powerful women reposted that clip of her popping off on these men because mm-hmm. it was so powerful. And it was like, you're no longer gonna talk to us like we're I dogs. Saw, I saw it was Amrezi. Well, I saw Amrezi, Amrezi, Amrezi and a couple it. a couple others mm-hmm. too. That's like that was, see, that's how I saw it. And Amrezi to me is like a very powerful, amazing, gorgeous, beautiful, stunning woman mm-hmm. that I'm just like, oh, I just like love this is very like women supporting women. And it's exactly what I love to see. And the girls came. The girls came in, tr- in droves. But I'm like, now how is this the number one? That's why I have questions. The number one male self-improvement. The thing though is I have actually seen this dude get caught up before oh, no. in podcasts and clips. And I've seen TikToks of him and like, I'm like, girl, honestly, at this point, just stop the pod. Do you feel pod. like he needs it for, he does it for attention then? I don't know. To get I really that, don't know. Because it did go maybe, pretty maybe, viral. Maybe it's for clout or maybe it's because you're genuinely a misogynistic ass. I don't, I don't know yeah. what it is, but there's definitely been Either way, situations. I, either way it's fucking trash like mm-hmm. i i can't like for me like especially like being a guy like seeing guys like act like that mm-hmm. it just like is the most annoying thing to it's me really ever gross. it's so gross i hate misogyny like in that way and just like 
especially because like, you know, being a gay guy, like I grew up with a lot of misogyny and I grew up with a lot of like, you know, toxic masculinity and it gives me that vibe. It gives me that energy yeah. and I hate it. Yeah. So it just makes me even more like being like girl power. Right. Period. Oh, I'm always on the girl And you're always side. girl power and I'm always yeah. on the girl side, period. But, um, you know, it was just, I honestly really love that she just ate him up and she I hope that we see him. more of it. And I want there I'm to be sure more. I'm sure we will. And I'm sure we will. And I feel like that's, you know what's funny? I feel like Drew is helping with that too. Yeah, definitely. I really do feel like like her TikToks Drew, are really Drew's helping. Drew's really powerful. Drew, uh, it all, her TikToks always start with a Mel being a complete ignorant moron, mm -hmm. which makes you mad. And then you look and you go, oh, this is one of Drew's. And it's you're, about like, to, you're like, it's about. And then it makes you like. Ugh. You're like, it's about to get good. It's about to get juicy. Uh -huh. it's about to get, the thing is like she will basically single-handedly like just destroy this these male egos while laughing at while them laughing in between what she said and it's so do i love what she does she does this like <laughs> and i love it she like did like this like rock side she's like <laughs> and i literally love it because you know for me like i think that a, a lot again like guys just have, have to hear it mm -hmm. guys just have to hear it and so her like coming for them in some way because they went came for women it's just mm -hmm. like nice it is i enjoy i honestly just fucking enjoy seeing it women are no longer very quiet no, and as they shouldn't be. We have a lot to say. There are voices. And we're going to use our voices. Yes, so. like a fucking microphone. And I want to say this, and I may be biased, but women carry the humor on TikTok. They carry it. Um, I'm sorry. Million percent. But women are some of the funniest creatures alive. They are comedy geniuses. They're goals. And the world of comedy has always been dominated by men. Mm -hmm. Most of my favorite comedians are men. But women are underestimated in how fucking funny we are. We're hilarious. You guys are. And the thing is, I actually follow only funny girls on, yeah. on TikTok. Like funny women. The guys try too hard. The girls oh, it's are like just, a joke. The girls are funny. The funny. girls are just naturally funny. And they're all. Join are, in. Yeah. <laughs> Join, do it, talk yeah. about. Join in. I'll have to find one of I my other her. funny ones I'll tell you guys about. But I have a lot of funny women. There are men on there that are funny too. Of course, but I but. just really appreciate the amount of humor the women provide for all of us. I honestly just feel like with the women too, it's like just so natural. Yeah. Like they're just naturally fucking they funny. They are. And they'll be doing some crazy shit. I, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I, I just love it. I love it. I love women. Women. Are, I, honestly, if, if I could choose to be straight or gay, I would choose to be straight. Yeah. Just so I could date women. Because ah! they're better. Well, you know. And we that's do that. What, we do what we, we can. do. We do what we Yeah. They're just better. Period. All right. Last topic. <gasps> Last one. Britney Spears and Jamie are going at it, oh, honey. honey. I don't think, I think this feud is not going to die. I don't think it is either. I don't think it's going to die. And I, you know, I'm actually, I'm, I'm waiting for the second part of our, the call, the caller daddy podcast. When is that coming out? I don't know. But do I wonder? What? So Britney sent over a cease and desist. To go, oh, Britney's team sent over to stop. Jamie. That's what's happening then. And I wonder if that is stopping Bet. the mm -hmm. second episode of Call mm -hmm. Daddy from coming out. Yeah, they're going to check. They're going to cross the T's and dot the I's before yes, they so keep I, releasing. That's what I wonder. And especially because like, I believe that there was going to be some like text message That makes shown. a lot of sense. So I feel like that might be... I, the thing is, Britney's not putting up with Jamie's bullshit anymore. No, she's able she to... she shouldn't. She's finally able to fight back I mean, on no. Jamie. And we're, we're talking about Jamie's sister right now. Her little sister, Jamie. Not talking about Jamie's dad. It's really annoying because there's two they Jamies. They named the kid after the parents but anyways okay. <laughs> <laughs> no like the com like the fact that it's like the both com i'm like okay that's a bit much but whatever <laughs> yeah oh yeah jamie and jamie lynn, lynn. okay y'all took a bit it much. there okay whatever but i know we're as crazy as fuck y'all are a bit much, it's a bit much but whatever Jeez. um you know if they weren't problematic parents i would think less about it but they're just fucking i wouldn't think wild. i wouldn't really actually think anything of it but, the, the but way because they they're are, so controlling of their kids and now i'm like you're weird and both of their kids have made multiple both. statements how they can't fucking stand them mm -hmm. so that's why i'm like no you're weird and like had so many you're controlling negative and weird you literally say. made your daughter's name after both of you that's fucking weird mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you're like that like i wouldn't care if it was a normal parent but they seem whack to me well jamie is Finally speaking out, she got a ton of hate for zero support of her sister's case, and now mm -hmm. she has a voice. Dude, this fucking suddenly, book, suddenly with the book, it's now that there's a book out. There's a book. Suddenly, there's a voice that has been. It's like fucking Ariel suddenly getting her voice back. She's like, ah, like bitch. Now, so, like the thing is for me, what's whack as fuck about it is the fact that you have not like been there and defending your sister publicly, mm -hmm. but suddenly now there's a book. You're using your sister's trauma. To sell your book. Yeah. That's what it seems like to me. It, me That's too. how it's coming across. It comes so I'm across like, that way. This is a fucking issue. I think now is the time to only support Britney, not try to get sales, and sit kind of quiet. Let's 
she literally has let's said. Let's get as quiet as you've been the past, what, 10, 15 yeah, years. Yeah, calm it down. Calm it down. How about let's. Calm down. Um, Aram, so the fact that she's, you know, Jamie has literally said, she's like, this is not about money. Well, you're the selling book. The book isn't about money. I'm like, well, then, then why give are you selling it out it? for free. Put it on Amazon for free. No profits. No profits. Donate all the profits then. How about that? That's really crazy. Actually, you know what? All the profits you make from the book, give it all back to Brittany Ooh, from her conservatorship that you've been paid. That's an idea. That's an idea. I mean, here we are. This is the full book coverage point. I yes. hate to see, you know, two family members after Especially they've sisters, both like, been through so much yeah. go to war like this publicly. I know. But Brittany has sat back and dealt with a lot of things happen publicly and hasn't been able to say a word. So now some of the same energy is going out there, but it's mm -hmm. a much different outcome. And I don't mm -hmm. think her family is used to They're her not, being- They weren't prepared. They weren't used to her being able to actually like fight back and have a voice. I love that Brittany's like- now they're getting just a taste. Voice. They're gonna taste. They're gonna, they're gonna get some of the wrath. Uh -huh. um, Cause the thing is, I think that Brittany is just, it's so nice to see Brittany like just be able to speak mm -hmm. what she wants to speak. She's yeah. out here posting like basically nudes on her Instagram. Uh -huh. I'm, like, I'm like, just go Brittany, get it all out. Like she hasn't been able to live like this life in what, 16 years? Part of me feels like her doing that is like a big F you to everybody it's literally, who was a part mm -hmm. of trapping her. Yeah, no, I, that's what I think it is. I think she's just going so, she's like, I'm just gonna do whatever the hell I want yeah. to prove F you. Like, yeah. I don't give a fuck about what you guys think or say about me. I'm free now. I can tell you this. I think Jamie goes down as one of the most hated people right now. Man, dad or uh, sister? Well, both, but the I sister's put in the hot seat now because- I think the dad's even worse off yes, though. Yes, yes. <laughs> because he's like, totally. seems demonic at this point. But the sister the is sister. in the hot seat at the moment. Yeah. You know? But she caused it herself. Like she's bringing it on totally. herself. Totally. You're going on a fucking book, book tour Girl. about your book and you're talking about, and these, the, 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 there's a passage in the book about, she's like, oh, yeah, I was really scared. Brittany had a knife once. And like, do you remember that? Yeah. Thing? And Brittany said she never had the knife. She's like, that never even happens. Like, why are you lying about it? She like, was basically uh, this saying, is a joke. Alleged. Well, no, it's not alleged. She was basically well, saying, she said in the book. yeah, that Brittany was paranoid, locked him in a room, had a knife, and was scared. And was scared. And like she's like, please sleep with me tonight. Uh huh. Which, uh, why do you need, like, first of all, that's not even like that big of a deal. That's not that big of a deal to me. It wasn't even, even if Brittany did have a knife and was scared, maybe like, maybe she she's heard Brittany something. Fucking Spears. Yeah, oh my God. Like, how could she not feel paranoid? Why is that about that things? weird? But, anyways, Brittany was, came out on Twitter and made a post and all and said, like, maybe I was cutting the, I was cutting the squash. Yeah. That's the only time you ever see me with a knife. And when like, I was cutting squash. I was cutting squash. So it's like these stories seem to be a bit elaborated. We're going to, if if the, um, if the Jamie ends up talking about the text message like coming out later on, we'll definitely cover that on the next episode of Full. If it ever comes out, we'll definitely cover it in the future. But who knows? Who knows? I, I, I am really, I'm curious to see, because she literally is saying that this text message is going to exonerate her. Oh, and I'm like, yeah. honey, yeah. if you think one text message from Brittany is going to exonerate you from this storm that you're in. And from not supporting you got your nothing sister coming. for the past Ye years. Years. And, and Decade, all this if you will. press and court cases and sitting quiet. Yeah, I no. don't think a text is going to do it. No, it's not. Mm -mm. So I'm very intrigued to see what the text has to say. And that is it for this episode. And that is it for our full coverage Friday episode. Woo rapid fire. Let's know what you guys think of the rapid fires. I think they're really, I enjoy them. Me too. Because we can hit so many different topics, have like cute little moments and talk about them all. And then just be like, boom, boom, boom. Same. We have a great time. Thank you guys for being here. We, we love, love you guys so much. so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, rate. If you guys are listening to this, please rate us on whether it's iTunes or Spotify. Spotify. We would really, really appreciate it. Anywhere. You guys are the best. And subscribe. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>